so this is the accelerating term or the acceleration term this is the damping term this is the damping term okay so if damping is zero suppose if damping is assumed to be zero then this term will not be there okay now we see what is theta e and what is the importance of del we will see what is the importance of del what is del del equals theta e minus omega s t here this equation has only theta e as the angular displacement which is electrical angle or it it is related to the angular position of the rotor but we want angular position of the rotor relative to the synchronously rotating frame so what we are doing here is this is the angular position of the rotor this is taken with respect to or the relative position of this relative angle between the uh, the relative displacement between the angular position of the rotor and the angular position of the synchronously rotating frame what is the angular displacement of the synchronously rotating frame angular displacement of the synchronously rotating frame at time t is angular velocity into that particular time right so omega s into t this will give you the angular displacement of synchronously rotating frame okay synchronously rotating frame angular displacement okay angular displacement so now theta e is the angular position physical position of the rotor so if we take the relative angle between both you will get the power angle del power angle del now when will del change or when will del vary if there is i mean if there is a disturbance from generation side or the demand side what happens is this angular position physical angular position of the rotor with respect to the position of the synchronously rotating frame this will change otherwise both are locked right at steady state both are locked of course there is an angle but that that angle is a constant right but this angle will change whenever there is a disturbance right now because that is our analysis right we are we are going to analyze with respect to disturbances what happens to our dynamic power angle del or del of t del becomes del of t right so in transient disturbances what will happen to del what is the pattern of the variation of del these things we we need to analyze so that is why we are doing this now um let this be this equation i am uh, going to give equation 10 okay this is equation 10 now this del equals theta e minus omega s t this i am going to give equation 11 now if i differentiate equation 11 two times that means if it is d del by dt it will become d theta e by dt minus omega s if i differentiate it once again then it will become d square del by dt squared equals d squared theta e divided by dt squared second term will be a constant because omega s it will go to zero right so this can be given as 12 question 12 right now why we are taking this d square theta e by dt squared because here in equation 10 we have d square theta e by dt squared we want to um, write this in terms of power angle del okay now what we are going to do is this can be uh, equation 12 okay now uh, we are neglecting the damping term okay we are assuming that the damping is zero so m d squared del by dt squared equals pm minus pe or which is equal to pa this is equation 13 okay so we are neglecting the damping term now substituting um, equation 12 this one equation 12 in equation 10 equation 10 we will get this mm -hmm. equation 13 okay now um, using equation 13 and equation 6 what is equation 6 equation 6 is m in terms of h right equation 6 is m equals gh by pi f so if we substitute m equals gh by pi f in 13 we get gh by pi f into d squared del by dt squared equals 
pm minus pe which is in megawatts which is equal to pa okay pa which is equation 14 equation 14 now we are going to divide equation 14 throughout by g equation 14 we are going to divide throughout by g so what will we get we will get everything in in terms of per unit right so m per unit right m per unit d squared del by dt squared equals pm minus pe in per unit right this is equation 15 now if you want you can substitute for m as what h by pi f right h by pi f if you want because we have already divided by uh, divide divided this equation 14 by g so g won't be there actually it is gh by pi f but in per unit it is h by pi f okay so this can be substituted as uh, h by pi f also so this is what is your swing equation swing equation okay now we will see the concept of synchronizing and damping torque in the coming lecture thank you